Um, this is out of my book, um, but showing you a couple of examples of the data that we, we collated. Uh, here, first of all, looking at black holes in teeth, dental caries that your dentists fill. Hopefully, they don't get as big as that. Um, and this is the frequency through time. So, here at Mesolithic, you know, 4,000, actually, it's 8,000 BC, right through to the post medieval period. And you can see that, generally speaking, dental caries is going up. It's very much related to carbohydrates, sugars, ingestion of them, and people are starting to eat more sugars as, as time goes by. The Romans had a bit of a peak in, in the rate, frequency rate, and we think that's related to the imports of figs and dates and exotic foods that contain lots of sugar, but they also use a lot of honey uh, in their food preparation. And then if we look down here, we've got height, uh, again, through to the post-medieval period. And I would say that, you know, really, when you get to the early medieval period, things don't really change that much in terms of height. There's obviously a difference between males and females that we would expect. Um, and this is today's uh, British population average um, heights. So the idea that height, you know, people were all really small in the past, which has come from, I think, small suits of armour, small shoes, small doorways in houses. I don't really think, when you look at the skeletons, that really supports that idea. 